Welcome back everyone. Thanks for tuning in to another show of About Town or a Lucy Goosey show talking about the top news stories all about Halton Hills and the Halton region in general basically really with Lee, Leah, Russ and uh, our we know him, Big Daddy and uh, yeah we got a lot of stories this week man. It's been a busy week. It's been a very very busy week in the town of Halton Hills and the region for that matter and today's show is brought to you by our good friends at Traditional Bakery. What a fantastic place that is. You're located at 211 Wall Street, right across from the mall where Pizza Pizza is. And uh, there, you can give them a call at 905-702-0081. And their food is just, anything in there is so good. Well, you gotta try their Portuguese custard uh, tarts. <laughs> and uh, growing up in England, we had we have the same thing, custard tarts. Yeah. And, and, but their custard tarts are just die for yeah you know yeah. what i mean and, and, and great sandwiches too oh the sandwiches as well you know and, and like you said though it's unfortunate for guys like us that come into town at five o'clock and six o'clock and start working they're closing everybody's so. closing down when we yeah. come to work you know but uh you know that's the shift we're it, on it is and we want to say thanks to our friends at traditional bakery once again you can give them a call at 905-702-0081 they make all kinds of wonderful treats and you got it you haven't been You've got to go. You got to check it out. So and friendly service too. Very, yeah, really you nice girls there. Area, they yeah. always say hello. How are you? Well, it's funny. And that's the way you want it when you go into the store. You know? Today she was washing her money. What? <laughs> <laughs> Should you be saying that on the air? Is that like laundering? <laughs> Is that like? I'm like, have you got a dryer for those things, or you know? Yeah. Yeah, she's washing the one. Oh man. And uh, talk about laundering, which is kind of like appliances. See how it tie things in? Yeah. I'd like to thank the guy from We Go Appliances today. My fridge died. The yeah. bottom part died, but the freezer was okay, so I knew it was a part, right? And he came he, uh, the next day, this morning, eight o'clock. He says I'll be there at eight o'clock. He was there at eight. He was out by nine. Great price. We Go Appliances. This guy is has been in the business for thirty eight years. And uh, it's it's my commercial for him right yeah. now because I was so impressed by him. Oh yeah, why not? And, uh, Absolutely. If you want, if you need an appliance help, uh, you know, your your fridge breaks, your stove breaks, call we go. All right. <laughs> Did you want me to do so, the news now? <laughs> we certainly <laughs> can. No, that's it. I think no, it we're, <laughs> we're both in a strange mood yeah. today. Huh? You're on a roll, roll, man. You're on a roll. I'm on a roll, baby. I'm on a roll. I'm tell you. And you know what it is? It's all that sugar from the banana marshmallow. Oh, that's too. <laughs> yeah, and spring. And, and he's got them right here. And of course, we have sloppy joes too. Those are coming up. Mixture. Those are coming up. You got some Java in your body now too, as well. Yeah, so. I got some Java. But, uh, so. but I, I guess the big news is uh, you want to know what the numbers are from Friday. Is it the twenty sixth well, today? Who we brought to you by? Oh, news. we brought to you by Max Tires and Auto Sales. That's Thank it. you for reminding me, Lee Lakin. <laughs> Uh, and uh, their number is 905-873-9255. And they're not only a tire store, they're also mechanics. Uh, transmission. Uh, transmission. Uh, they, they fix cars, trucks. Uh, the, you know, they're all down there together. And the guys at Fred's Towing, a big salute to you this week for working on the side of the road with yeah. uh, the police and ambulance. Because, you know... We always talk about uh, how uh, the police and, and the, the paramedics and the fire take their lives in their hands by going on the side oh, of the road. Yeah. These guys are there too. Yeah. Fred's towing right there. Since 1958, baby, when At the Hop by Danny and the Juniors was number one. And uh, we're brought to you by... You can remember that, but not his notes. No, I can't. <laughs> I keep forgetting my notes when I come out. You know, we come on location here and... Uh, uh, every you know, I, I have to uh, clear a flight of stairs up and down, up and down, and I always come down without my that's, big that's, yellow that's binder. That's when you spilled all over. That's yourself. when I spilled all over myself. Yeah. But, but uh, uh, I got a bit of mom spit there. Yeah, yeah. From, uh, <laughs> mom Leia. spit can clean anything. <laughs> you know, she can clean anything. I think it she can. can clean a penny. It could clean I tried. anything. Mom <laughs> spit is amazing. As a matter of fact. Backdoor Jimmy has come out with a tube of mom's mom spit. <laughs> and, uh, we'll get to that later. <laughs> all right. Yes, all right. it's the Lucy, Lee, and Russ show tonight. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it reminds me of my, my days with, in morning radio and your days. because Even though we weren't doing that together, we've both done it. And this kind of reminds me of, of those days. Pretty much is, Where really. you could really just sit and be yourself instead yeah. of being that disc jockey that talks over the record for eight seconds and shuts up. Or this guy. 
yeah. on that smooth jazz channel. <laughs> Wake up! All right. Oh, sorry, people. <laughs> Friday, and we're February 26th today, right? Is it the 26th? Yes, I believe so. All right. The numbers, uh, the new number uh, for Halton yes. COVID are 31 in total. And that's uh, for the region, everybody. That's for the region, not for. Now, the highest was Oakville. They had 12. Uh, Burlington had 10. Uh, Milton reported six on the Friday. And Halton Hills, uh, we had three. Three uh, okay. uh, new reported cases. Uh, the big news uh, at the moment is that police are looking for uh, an individual that was on February the 17th, the morning of February 17th, white, uh, driving a white SUV, mid-sized car, around the Orchard Avenue, Robinson Road, Danby Road area, okay. 4.30 to 6 a.m. Um, so please, if you can help the police with any of this, this has turned into a homicide investigation. And uh, as, as we mentioned, su surveillance footage is turned up in connection with that, uh, it's, it's all over the news. Well, all a lot over of people have those too. new ring cameras, right? So if you've got a ring camera, can you please at least go back and check, yeah. you know, video from that day, you know? And of course, the couple were found dead in, in the residence. Now, I've heard rumors, I haven't seen it in the media, that they were actually deceased before the fire was set, but I'm not sure. I can't back that up. We haven't had official reports. But I've been told yet, by but... several people in the media that I know that that is what has happened. I don't know. I can't. But I'm telling you what I've heard. That's all. Uh, the video, which Halton Police picked up on Thursday from a neighbor and later released it to Toronto Media, appears to show an unknown individual following a vehicle into the open garage. And an unknown, uh, this guy, we don't know who he is, of course. Uh, so it's a, a lot of speculation. A lot of speculation at this point. And uh, it was Hidden Lake Trail location, of course, and that is in the Danby and Eighth Line area. area. But the video has been all over social media. So and then, like, mm -hmm. like you said, the mainstream media itself, uh, Global News, CTVs, all those. Once guys, the big boys get a hold of it, so, yeah, uh, you know there's something wrong. Yeah, you know there's there's more to the story. There's going to be a lot more to the story. We'll keep you up to date as long as we can on that one. It's, it's still, at the end of the day, it's still just an absolute tragedy, uh, you know, and, and and just so bizarre for well, Those poor for people Georgetown. didn't stand a chance. No, no, no. To me, it's just, it's uh, chance. like I said, there's just so many uh, unanswered questions, but at the same time, you know, nobody deserves to uh, to die that way in any shape or form. So that's just a sad story, really. And like One I said, so saddest. bizarre, so bizarre for Georgetown, too, as well. Yeah. You know, it's, well, it's we don't get too, We don't get too much of this stuff here yeah. in Halton Hills. We get it the odd time. I remember a few years ago, there was a, a double suicide over here, um, just in the downtown Georgetown area off of, um, you know, see, now if you told me where to go, I'd know where the street was, but I can't remember the name of it now. I've told you where to go tons yeah, of times. Yeah, I know you have, but it's over here. Uh, of course. <laughs> It's it's just over here by Cleve Home area, right? Uh, that, by that area there yeah. of uh, Henry, Henry, Street. Henry, Henry, and that area. I lived I there for a lot of years with my grandparents. I don't know why. It's the street that comes into the back of the hospital where where the where the other Mary one or... uh, Not Mary, but the other one. <laughs> There's Hillside. There's Hillside. There. there you go. There we go. <laughs> Cab oh, driver in town to... for thirty there, years. And then we're supposed to know uh, <laughs> names. And little Leah comes up and saves me with it because I was going straight to hell with that one. That's because I love Hellside. you, big daddy. Oh, we'll do this together as a team. It works. Right. <laughs> Speaking of roads, I'm, I'm dying to do this story yeah. because this is something everybody in town has complained about for years and years and years. They're talking about completing an active transportation improvements on Maple Avenue, operational and safety modifications on Maple Avenue and Guelph Street at the highway at the intersections there. So... Um, set to begin this spring, continue the summer of 2021, the proposed roadway improvements include new on and off road active transportation facilities between Maine and Mountain View, turn lane modifications and reconstruction of signalized intersection at Maple and Guelph, road surfacing and maintenance from Guelph Street to Mountain View and lighting to accommodate new existing infrastructure. So they're doing new lights, so that this means they're going to be digging up massive holes That's this it. is going to be a big construction but these roads need it so bad man i come to georgetown every day going well it's another day to play dodge the manhole 
Well, especially this time of year. Last oh. year, I remember we were driving through the parking lot, actually not last year, sorry, it would have been a couple of years ago. Driving through the parking lot by Goodfellas there, that hole, you could lose your vehicle. There was actually a pylon right not too far up the, up the way. And my girlfriend that's, got that's, it, went and got it, and put it right in the hole. Because you, you, at nighttime, you don't, if you're not, yeah. you don't remember. Yeah. You, you, you're literally, you're going you're gonna to sink. Yeah, so, you know, a lot of people have complained about these roads for a long, long time. It's about time they're getting to them. Because uh, considering we don't have as much tra traffic coming through like we used to, with the quarry co closing out on fourth line, mm -hmm. you're not getting the big rigs coming through town as much as they used to be. So now fixing these roads, hopefully... They'll last longer. I think the area that's most beaten up by the trucks is Maple. Maple like, is you go brutal. 17th oh, side yeah. road yeah. afterwards. Fourth line, of course, just destroyed. Yeah. <laughs> you know, at times. But, uh, but it's, it's you know, I, I've seen complaints about it constantly on social media. So it's good to see that they're actually getting around and doing it. And they will save people a lot of money. And maybe, you know, uh, they're only going to max tires to get tires instead of tie rod ends and ball joints. So. <laughs> struts. And struts. Suspension. And yeah. You know. <laughs> the worst. The worst was the old, uh, and I sank, and my butt thanks you, by the way, uh, uh, was it CN that fixed it? I'm not sure who fixes the, the, the lines, is it CN? CN, yeah. Uh, but my butt thanks you for Trafalgar in Stewart Town there, when you go uh, over to the uh, 17th side road, and wow, oh, yeah. like this. <laughs> and the other bad one is Winston Churchill, north of Highway 7. If you hit that sucker, uh, that's more than 40, buddy, you're oh going yeah. airborne. Oh, God, oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, that yeah. One, yeah. That one, you, you would take the bottom of your vehicle. You like, no you're, doubt about you're it. You're ripping, ripping, ripping an oil, you would, you're ripping an oil pan off. <laughs> yeah, I don't and know I why. I saw a guy do that on Heritage Road on that same train track, yes. but over on Heritage, and he hit it, ripped the whole oil pan clean off the bottom but of the But it's chart. hard. It's hard to keep it, for the guys to keep it. But loving. why is it being left for this long? This wow. is, that's not just happened in the last couple of years. No. That's been like that for years. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Years. There is a so. sign there that warns you about it. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's matter. Even going still, slow before uh, long, you're 40, still going to lose your beat. <laughs> you know, yeah, yeah. even when you go over slow, it's like one of these. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. God. Now it's a beautiful. It was a beautiful day, oh, today, gorgeous Friday, day. wasn't it? Beautiful Absolutely day. gorgeous out there, and the weather's getting warmer. People seem, seems to be lightening up a little <laughs> bit because you know we've been through the worst of it now, gang. We're in, uh, you know January, February. Everybody deep you, winter, you know, yeah. COVID, everything else. You know um, uh, now the the vaccinations are starting to flow. The weather's are getting a little bit warmer. Let's swing back and get back. Try and get back to normal. Yeah, okay. Somewhat. Okay. But conservation halted are telling us, see, with all these warm temperatures, see how I tie everything in? It's just genius. Uh, it says stay away from the ice and bodies of water. Okay? Yeah, especially right now. Uh, because, uh, you know, I mean, it's it, when it starts creeping up above freezing every day, and we went into a deep freeze there in uh, Yeah, but in I just still don't think it was uh, long enough, though, to uh, really, to, you know, like, I don't think lakes and, and stuff froze over as much as they we've uh, had. The, the amount of snow that's melting right now yeah, is incredible. It's exactly, you know. Incredible. And it, it's, uh, yeah, it's a good point, though, Big Daddy. I, I like the fact that they're talking about this again. Because you do got to remind people. They see it looks pretty. It looks cool. They want to go check it out. Next thing you know... And, you know, watch your kids, uh, you know, your pets. Buy, 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 buy bodies of water. Yeah. Uh, because any body of water can be dangerous, you know, if it's flowing. Absolutely. And, uh, and another story, Daryl Holliday, who is 43, has apparently been charged with three counts of sexual exploitation in Brampton for acts in Georgetown and Mississauga and Brampton oh, as well. Wow. So his name is Daryl Holliday, and this goes back a few years uh, to uh, the late 90s through into the uh, mid-2009 uh, area. So uh, that was uh, the big story. People are just coming week. forward now then. Yeah. And, and and his name out. is Daryl Holliday. He, he was charged three counts sexual exploitation in Brampton for acts, uh, sexual acts in Georgetown, Brampton, and Mississauga. And we report them as we see them. Yeah. Right? There we go. All right. And uh, I'd like to say hi to Chris and all the gang over at the Red River Riot, who are our band this weekend on the show. Yeah. Uh, Tomorrow night. Uh, Saturday night at 6. Yeah. We uh, feature a local artist. And it is Red 
River Riot from Acton. So hello to Chris and the guys. We're going to be playing Dead Letter Ladies, which is a great song. That was a great tune. I, I listened and, to it last uh, week. And, so. and, uh, and the others, uh, we're going to play... We're gonna add a lot of songs to our library too from them because these guys are good. Yeah. And you know, you know, I have a, a worldwide show on United DJs in England, and I think I'm gonna make uh, Dead Letter Ladies my record of the week next week. So oh, cool! That'd be, I've heard, I've, that'd be very cool. Yeah. Man. And, yeah. and because I love the song so much. Yeah. And, really, and uh, so, good, Chris, good, good driving you're, you're, song. You're gonna be on in 186 countries around the world, my love. There you are. All right. So there. There's my big daddy, good deal. It's not a good deed, but it's a great song. I mean, it is a great song. It's it's not like you're trying to promote some piece of garbage. So. And, it, and it's that's the <laughs> but problem. But it's local. That's the, and it's local, exactly. Yeah. And the problem with musicians nowadays is they don't get enough attention from the right people. No, no. Well, the radio industry has never changed. The payola disappeared no. in a way, but it just got hidden yeah. a little better in different forms and different fashions. And you know, it's. Uh, it's unfortunate, so we try to promote our local musicians as much as we can, and uh, so check out that show tomorrow night, 6 p.m. on Holton Hills Online, Big Daddy uh, showcasing local talent. So. That's right, and we love that show, yep. and it's an all-Canadian show, eh? Beauty, cool. right Take on, down, baby. right on there, buddy. We're Canadian, buddy, I'll tell you. Take you off, eh? That's right, you can't get much more Canadian than me, I'll tell all you right, right let's now. move on, we got to get going. All right, all right, uh, listen to my boss over here. Uh, both the, uh, the Halton Catholic District School Board and Halton District School Board are posting several new cases of COVID-19 in schools last weekend. This is not this weekend. Uh, the Catholic School Board mentioned there is uh, one new case each at St. Bridget Catholic uh, Elementary School. That's in Georgetown South. Okay. Uh, St. Joseph Elementary School, which is in Acton, of course. Yeah. Uh, we have uh, St. Mary Catholic Elementary in Oakville, St. Paul Catholic Elementary in Burlington, and also Bishop Redding Catholic Secondary School in Milton. And a lot of local kids from Halton Hills go to that school, of course. Yeah. Uh, also, the, the Halton District School Board is reporting new student COVID-19 reports at Abbey Park High School in Oakville and also Alton Village Public School in Burlington, but nothing's closed to classrooms yet. But uh, yes. there's, uh, well, we know, uh, well, and I haven't heard anything all week from the schools. This is from last weekend. Yeah, you know? and we're, and you know, really, it, it's. I think they're managing it fairly well. So you know, it seems to be going a little smoother than it did the last time they attempted this. So, but unfortunately, these variants—that's the problem. I think that's going to—that's well, going to be the the kicker. And, I, and, and as you've seen, and we were just talking about. You know, we were down at one point a week ago at 884 or whatever it was, and it's slowly gone up. Today we're up over 1,200 is what I saw. No, not just not this area, but I mean overall. Right. So you see the numbers a little bit, but slowly climbing again. Well, that's like this story here, the amount of confirmed variant cases in Halton still holding tight at 8, uh, with 38 more that are screened positive. As a variant of concern, the health department says on its website that individuals who have been screened positive are highly likely to become variant concern cases, See? but it can take several weeks for conformity test results to be received. So It's hard um, to report on the numbers of the variants because uh, it, it takes a while it, to report it's taking, on them anyway. It's take, it takes longer to test for it, I guess, is, mm -hmm. the, is the situation right now. So. Uh, being a new one, they're going to have to come up, you know, with quicker tests. Because now you can do the rapid test for the COVID, awesome. where you know, so it's taking them a year to come out with that rapid test, basically. So it's probably going to be about the same before they can do the same one. Who knows? But uh, yeah, 38 more screened positive. So uh, they're seeing more and more of the variants coming out, and they're not saying which ones it is, which ones they are, whether they're African, British, or what yet. There's so many now. But there's there's so many of them now. Yeah, it's just gotten they're mutating incredibly quickly. Reminds me of an old. They're like they're like your your nightmare of a cockroach. It it just reminds me of, of one of those old uh, sci-fi uh, B movies from the '60s. You know, <laughs> that never ends. The movie never ends, and you know now we have variants. You know, the day of the Triffids. Remember that movie? No. See, I not did. a big, not a big movie guy. So. And uh, all those terrible, terrible movies. Plan Nine from Outer Space. Yeah. Oh God, was that a horrible movie? And this COVID, terrible movie. <laughs> yeah. Terrible. Hell, no, the Z was dead rating. <laughs> coming in, coming in two thousand and twenty-one. <laughs> it's COVID. Somebody said uh, in 2019, I plan on 
going to Spain and Italy and checking out Europe and walking around having a good time. Good luck. And then in 2021, they said, I'd like to go outside and sit on a bench yeah. <laughs> <laughs> with my friends. All right, the three latest deaths here in Halton Hills, getting back to serious talk, uh, reported on Wednesday of this last week were residents at the Amica Georgetown resident home in, in uh, uh, of course, Georgetown and Maple Avenue, and our condolences to the families involved. Uh, the facility has been, of course, hit hard. That's no doubt yeah. about it. A total of eight residents uh, have died so far. Uh, 79 cases amongst residents and oh. staff since the outbreak was declared in the home back on February the 1st. They've had a rough, rough go. Yeah. Uh, the outbreaks, of course, at Amica Georgetown and the Georgetown Hospital are still in effect. I haven't heard anything from Georgetown Hospital saying it's not. Um, could be wrong, but so far, so you know, it's still the same, same status. Yeah. yeah, yeah. No, it's a shame what's going on over there. They're having a heck of a time breaking that out. Uh, You've done all your stories? No, no, I still got a few more here. Uh, That's why he was I'm bugging him today. I'm bugging him today. <laughs> the town is hosting a virtual affordable housing open house on March 4th at 6 30 uh, p.m. As part of its affordable housing awareness and engagement strategy, Mayor Burnett, town staff, and members from the Affordable Housing Working Group will be on hand to talk about what affordable housing means to Halton Hills. Topics include local affordable housing initiatives and the benefits of accessory dwelling units in today's housing market. And um, I, when I hear affordable housing in Georgetown, it sounds like an oxymoron. <laughs> it most definitely I'm is. I'm sorry, it does. To me, I, you know, I, this is no, to, no way to be offensive to anybody, but uh, the, the rents and, and housing market here in Georgetown is way overpriced, in my opinion. And uh, you're, you're actually you're pricing people out of a home that, that are needing homes. And, you know... I'm sorry, if you have a mortgage payment for your home that is $2,500 because you're renting the top floor and the bottom floor out, so you're getting at least $2,500 to $3,000, if you think your mortgage is that much, you've got a terrible mortgage company. Well, they've got, and it's more than that because I'm seeing even going as far out as well, um, just for the top floor for a couple of bedrooms, sometimes three, but two, 18, 1900 and part of the utilities yeah. just for the top floor of the house. That's it. Yeah, no, it's, uh, it's I understand it's you guys crazy. need to make money, but when you start pricing yourself out like that, that's just ridiculous. Well, it's hard. People yeah. are running for a reason. Yeah. For the most part. So. Yeah. Well, uh, now we're going to get into, now, of course, the vaccine is starting to roll out yeah. now. Um, it's starting to, uh, apparently, uh, uh, the government uh, said today that they were uh, starting to uh, move things. Things are starting to move. The vaccines are moving. And they just uh, okayed a couple of vaccines, one one from a shot from India, and uh, uh, I think, uh, I can't remember which vaccine it was, but it was been okayed and it's starting to loosen up with the vaccine. Well, they're doing all the seniors and, first. Ex exactly. Halton has posted the locations where it'll soon start operating COVID-19 vaccine clinics in each of our communities. Uh, here at Halton Hills, health officials are working to get the clinics open for prioritized residents and they are of course beginning with those 80 and up aged 80 and up uh, by next month apparently as early as next month the location in Georgetown will be at the Gellert Community Center which is 10241 eight line uh, in Georgetown South and that's where everyone will go to get your uh, vaccination and of course there are other stations in Oakville Milton and Burlington but we're not shows for Oakville, Milton, and Burlington were for Halton Hill. So we're going to tell you where that one is. But they're, of course, all over Halton. And the preparation of these clinics is an important milestone in our work to vaccinate the most at risk of becoming very sick with COVID-19. And this is uh, probably from uh, the most hardworking woman in, in Halton, the medical officer of health, Dr. Hamadam again. Okay. My God, that woman works hard. I encourage everyone to get the vaccine when it's your turn, she says. And in the meantime, prepare yourself and your family by reviewing credible information on the vaccines at halton.ca. So if you want more information on it, and uh, you can actually see a, a video with Hamadan Magani, Dr. Hamadan Magani, go to halton.ca. There's a lot at halton.ca on that website that it's, people don't it's know. It's a pretty about. active website, yeah. yes. More, more information on clinic openings, dates, and how to book an appointment with a new booking system will become available and the amount of vaccines for Halton region is confirmed when we know. And health officials maintain that 
Planning is also happening, providing additional supports for transportation if people have a hard time getting uh, yeah. out in the, uh, on the eighth line. There. Exactly. Yeah. That's so activate will be busy. Yes, they will. They'd be very and, busy. Uh, but it's good to know that some of the you know the vaccines are rolling out, and yeah. we're starting to see people rolling up their arms and uh, their sleeves. Or yeah, because there's been so much talk about it, but yet you're not seeing a lot of them getting distributed at this point. And there, there's all these promises being made, yet nothing coming forward. I can smell those sloppy. Ah, uh, dude, least. it's really it's just driving me insane. <laughs> uh, the Hull District School Board reported Tuesday night uh, some new cases of COVID-19 at schools in Georgetown and Milton. Park Public School here in Georgetown had a student infected with COVID-19. The board mentioned on its COVID-19 advisory page, and Ann J. MacArthur Public School in Milton had another student case, putting the active total to two cases. So, uh, you know, considering all the kids are back in school, uh, we're not getting a lot of active cases in the schools, so it's good to see, you know. Well, they're not getting reported if they're happening. Uh, that's good news. But, yeah. Uh, no news is good news, and uh, I haven't heard much from the schools early. Earlier in the week, a little bit, but uh, you know, I was a little worried sending the kids back. I must admit, um, yeah, I still, you know, I'm still a little apprehensive too. You know, I still have a little. We're still only a couple of weeks in, right? The yeah. first week they went back to school was only like three days anyway, wasn't it? It was family day and then snow day. And can you, <laughs> imagine, can you imagine being a kid right now, growing up in this stuff? It's no. terrible. They can't gotta go be, out. They can't it's got to be confusing. Very, you, go to the, you go tobogganing for God's sakes, and, and, and you're having people saying you can't do that. Oh, just it, it's awful. I'm not saying. You know, even even kids. just the fact that they've got to stay in and they really can't spend time with friends. And yeah. I, I was a big social a butterfly, so I can't most imagine. Kids are, you get the odd kid that's not the social butterfly, but most of them are very socially active because yeah. that's the way they've been for the past several right. years. One thing I have so, noticed, though, and I, I, about today's society, when you and I were kids. Uh, you go into the fairgrounds in Georgetown or wherever in North America at five o'clock in the afternoon and you've got girls skipping, guys playing baseball, playing soccer, running around, playing tag. It's, it's playing ball hockey. You go to the yeah. fairgrounds in 2021 and what do you see? Cricket. Nothing. What's happened to our kids? Where, why aren't... When I was, my mom knew where I was because that's where my bike was at the end of that driveway. Doing this. You know? having a seizure on the video game controller. All right, we got to finish up. We're at the right. end. The Miller Payne family. Yes. Okay? Is... We've got to talk no. about them. I've been talking about them all week, and we're watching uh, their uh, GoFundMe page, and uh, the money is increasing every day. Uh, they've lost their home, the Miller Payne family, and everything in it to a house fire, which happened a couple of weeks ago now. Yeah. Now, they've raised almost $4,300. They're okay. going for 10000 to get back on their feet again. So 4,300, we can get there, guys. Yeah. Come on, let's make this a Halton Hills thing. Let's get there. And uh, uh, 4,300 is what they got. They want 10,000. And we've linked up their uh, GoFundMe page. They had, their house was at Highway 7 and the 22nd, yes. right by the USO there, yeah. and, uh, Tim Hortons. Yes. But, uh, they lost everything. And we've linked up uh, their, their uh, page all over. And uh, all over our Facebook pages, and please, please help them because they're in dire need of uh, of help, and uh, and there's no doubt about that. And you're out of stories, and I got one left. Yeah. Uh, uh, this is just, we, we do oh, want to mention about the Upper right. Trent Humane yeah. Society. Still looking for donations. They're always looking for donations. So don't ever think that you can stop. You know, donating. If you've got stuff, you can donate. Uh, a lot of people are donating those uh, those coupons that are uh, Angela's been showing on on Facebook and on our Facebook pages as well. Uh, they're running low on some supplies. They'd appreciate donations of wet cat food and bleach and brooms. Uh, please leave any donations at the front door at the shelter and they appreciate any support you can provide. And we do too. We'd really appreciate if you could help them out. We love uh, our animals. We love our animals here. We're all big, huge animal lovers, Pearl included. And uh, <laughs> you know, if, if you can help out, please do, you know. Definitely. And I'll just interject really quickly too that if you can't get to Erin, to where Erin, where <laughs> where the the shelter is, um, Angela I know had piped up on one of the posts that I put out there for them. Um, by all means, to message her, she can arrange you to have it dropped off or picked up. They're a great place, team there. They're well, fantastic. Angela so, does a great job. Angela, I worked with her. She works hard at this yeah. stuff. She's on the go all the time. She's yeah. a stewardess. Yeah, flight attendant. 
flight, flight attendant. I'm sorry, Angela. Flight attendant. Yeah, and, come uh, on. Yes, she's a celebrity. <laughs> she and, uh, but she does a lot of work there, yeah. She's very oh, busy. She she's a very busy up. girl, too. She heads it up. She, does, yeah. she pretty much oh, yeah. has everything on the go. So Before we leave you, I have to tell you this. A message from the mayor, a reminder at our uh, the last council meeting, uh, Councillor Jane Fogel brought a, a resolution that everyone should take note of. Uh, her resolution requests the region of Halton delay its final report on its official plan review until there's a proper in-person informed consultation with the public. And also, it is asking the region to suspend the timetable for the conformity to the provincial growth plan and the provincial policy statement to ensure the public can fully participate in the process of planning their communities. So that is uh, sure. from the town of Baltimore. <laughs> sure, okay. But, uh, <laughs> that wasn't very informative to me, but so it might be to some of you. So, but yeah, we've had a great show. Uh, we're 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 having a lot of fun. Uh, what the hat? Don't forget about the giveaway this week that we're doing it oh, Sunday. Oh, yeah, Wednesday. Yes, the giveaway, right? We wrote it down too. How funny! I know. I thought, how did he miss that? He wrote it down. I, um, did I write yes. it down? So we have our Sunday swag giveaway coming up this Sunday. Um, the Sisters of Light have donated a very cool gift package. And uh, yeah, you've got to, how are we doing this contest? <laughs> However you want to do it. Huh? We can have fun with this. No, we can have fun with this. Hey, I remember that much. So. There you go. Why don't, why, don't we think, why don't we think up some uh, question on, on the events and information page. We'll play a certain song. Which song did you want us to play on? Peace of Mind we're going to do with Boston. With peace the, of, with the peace, video. When you hear Peace of Mind on Sunday on the radio, go to the events and information page. And we're, that's a, that moment is when we're going to post our um, question. That's how the radio and the media work together. When you hear Peace of Mind by Boston on Sunday, go to uh, the events and information page. That's where we're doing this. And uh, Leah is going to ask a very, very hard question. Yes. Why don't we make it local? Always. Yes. Oh yeah. A always. local question. Right. These are local historians. Yes. So always, always. Because it's quite the it's quite the giveaway from the Sisters of Light. You have to earn it. Yeah, we're not giving this <laughs> we're not giving this one away easy. I can we tell you. We've got a giveaway video coming up, and we've also got our radio show going. Uh, this show, uh, the audio portion of it. Uh, I don't know if it's going to start this weekend or next weekend. Uh, from 7 to 8 p.m. on a Saturday and Sunday night is going to be our public affairs hour where we have this show on and we also have a show from Brampton on with Bruce Marshall who runs the Brampton Walk. Yeah. And because here in Halton Hills we get all the news for Oakville, Burlington, Milton and Halton Region but our next door neighbor is right there and he does a great 7 to 8 minutes report on the Brampton News. So that will be included. Cool. The show. News brought to you by Max Tires and Auto Repairs 905-873-9255 and a big shout out to the boys at Fred's who are on the side of the road. Please, Please watch for them. Pull Please. over for them. We want to thank JV for some cool hats. We've got some more coming. We're going to be doing some more giveaways with hats and t-shirts so stay tuned to the station for that. Always stay tuned as long and as much as you can. Today's show brought to you by our good friends at Traditional Bakery. Yummy, yummy, tasty, tasty treats and buns and bread. You can check them out at 211 Guelph well Street. Uh, still doing, you know, you can only have so many people in the store. Uh, they like to wash their money, so that's good. Uh, their number is 905-702-0081. And you can check them out at traditionalbakery.com. And, uh, yeah, great place to go. Can and I have eat. another and, banana marshmallow? Uh, we're going to do that in a minute. No, okay. not till after you eat your supper. you got to eat all your dinner first. <laughs> That's for Thank you so much for tuning in, everybody. <laughs> have a fantastic weekend from Leah, Lee, Russ. Have a and great I gotta weekend. say, uh, a community weekend. is driven by community. You navigate. We'll drive. That's right.